my name's Annette, and you might know me on social media as Netters Plays. Well, today I'm going to talk to you about the games that I acquired and give you my first initial impressions for the month of April. So I acquired quite a few games, but this time I actually did manage to play a lot of them. So I'll have a pretty brief, uh, detailed review of all these games. And not only that, um, I'm also going to talk to you about the games that I didn't manage to play, uh, but give you my general first impression about the artwork, the components, and such. So, yeah, let's get to it. All right, so before we start with my uh, initial acquisitions and impressions video, I want to give a small brief shout out. And this is going to be uh, for Mandy from To Die For Games. I'll put a link below. But she actually sent me the, this cool tie. It's a Space Invader tie. And um, I also got this cool dice tower. And it's from Custom Game Bits. I'll put the description uh, down below of the company that makes these. But it's a cool looking dice tower. And it's really lucky. So you should definitely check it out. But <laughs> it comes apart so you can easily put it away and put it in your shelf. And it, it compacts well. So I wanted to give a shout out and the reason I got this was because I entered a contest on our channel and all I did was subscribe to her channel and just kind of watch it like you're watching mine. But yeah, so I just thought I'd give her a little shout, shout out and just say thank you uh, so much. I really appreciate it. So now let's go over the games that I didn't manage to play this month. So uh, it's just due to my lack of time uh, getting these games on the table. And such. So uh, first I'm going to talk to you about Hanafuna. It's a Japanese flower card game and it's basically like a deck of cards, uh, a deck of playing cards. With the regular uh, deck of playing cards you can easily play a multitude of, of different types of games like poker and you know cribbage and hearts and stuff like that. Well same thing goes with Hanafuna. It's a, it's a Japanese deck of cards where you can play a, a wide uh, array of different types of, of card games with this too. Uh, I actually posted pictures of this card game and lots of people said that it reminded them of their parents playing when they were growing up and um, so I guess it's a fairly old game too. So um, it's really neat because these cards themselves are really super thick and not only that made of plastic so um, they'll, they'll really like last uh, quite a long time and they're really neat because you can slam them on the table and they sound pretty awesome. So um, yeah, I thought the colors were great. It's really bright red and white and black. And so it's, it's a really small, tiny game that I can easily put in my purse and just take with me on the go. And so I wanted to pick it up because it only cost $1.50 too. So that was, that was a big selling point right there was the cost. So, um, so yeah, if you ever, uh, if you ever, uh, find a deck of these, you should try to check them out. Um, I guess it's just like a regular deck of cards, but from Japan. So I'm interested in trying this one out. All right. Well, another game that I acquired this month was Time Jockeys. Now, Time Jockeys I got from Gamebox Monthly. It's a monthly subscription, uh, for gamers. So you subscribe to this, um, to Gamebox Monthly. I'll put a link below. But basically, uh, you you go ahead and set your collection of games on BoardGameGeek. You send this to them, and they'll send you a game that you don't have, so you don't get duplicates, which is really interesting. Now, they sent me Time Jockeys, and uh, I'll just be honest. I'll give you my first impression. I am not too keen on the artwork on the cover, but that's my thoughts and opinions. I haven't played it yet, so it might be an awesome game, but I'm not sure. So um, so that's my initial impression. I wasn't too impressed with the artwork. However, um, it is a small, compact game from just looking at it. The rulebook is not so thick at all. It's a really thin rulebook, easy to explain, I imagine. And then um, it also came along with an expansion, actually two of them. And it's a whole deck of cards and some dice in it too. So it's really compact and easy to take with you, which could be fun. The last game that I haven't managed to play, but I'm highly um, interested in playing this game is Stronghold. So you gotta be really strong to hold this game up, but 
Stronghold is a um, is a second edition game. So this came out a while ago, but this recently was edited and kind of improved. So Stronghold is a two player only game, and basically it's it's a game where one player plays the humans defending a castle and the goblins is played by the other player and they basically are uh, trying to get into the castle trying to get through the wall and uh you you set traps you you set up uh catapults and and stuff like that it's really interesting i thought it'd be a really epic great game for two players it's asymmetrical meaning they're not both equally the same uh each player is playing a different role and so uh, the gameplay is different for each player, so it makes it uh, variable whether you're playing one side or the other. And not just that, but it came with a ton of components. Uh, it's great. It came with like these little itty bitty cubes themselves, which are so cute. <laughs> but not that. Just you came with a whole bunch of little tiny archers and such too. But the main thing that I was easily impressed upon was the game board itself. So the game board is humongous. <laughs> Let me show you here. It's basically, I can't even unfold it because it's so big, but <laughs> it's pretty much the size of my whole table. It's huge. I, I can barely see over it, but yeah, this is an, an impressive game I can see from just opening it. <laughs> so I'm highly interested in playing this game. Um, I haven't had the chance of learning it yet, but definitely something I had to pick up. And um, I'll let you know in the future what I thought about it. <laughs> All right, so now that I finished part one of my acquisitions and impressions, I just wanted to go over the games that I did not manage to play this month. Now part two is going to be the list of games that I did manage to play for the month of April that I acquired too. So I'll give you my general overview impressions of them and kind of just uh, continue on from this video. So uh, go ahead and just click somewhere and I'll put it somewhere. I don't know where, maybe right here next to this guy right here. So yeah, go ahead and click on that and then we'll go ahead and I'll show you the next video, part two. Thank you.